Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. On behalf of our pastor here at the Greater Queens Missionary Baptist Church, our Reverend Kevin Wilkes, we thank you for being a part of our morning service. Let's open with a word of prayer. Father God, thank you for Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And thank you, Father, for another opportunity to come together as brothers and sisters in Christ and to worship your holy name. Father, it's time for your word. Bless and touch right now. Yes. Guide and lead. Yes, God. Open the ears of your people. Empty me out from inside and fill me back up with your spirit that I might spurt it out to your people to receive it. And we'll be so careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, and all the thanks. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank God. Amen. Good morning to everybody again. And those are the, we welcome everybody to Greater Acquaintance on behalf of our pastor. Let us turn to the book of Romans, the eighth chapter, starting with the 31st verse. Romans 8, starting at 31. If you have it, please stand for the reading of God's word. Amen. And the word of God reads thusly. 31 through 39 of the 8th chapter. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with them also freely give us things. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. 34. Who is he that condemneth it? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us who shall separate us from the love of God, Christ shall tribulations or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword as is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long we are counted as sheep for the slaughter 37 Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. 39. Nor height, nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers and hearers of his word and for the edification of our soul. And for a few minutes, I want to go back and revisit again. The meaning of the cross, triumph. Again, Father, we come in the name of Jesus right now. Give me your word. Amen. And thank God. Amen. The book of Romans is the ABCs or the basic of Christian doctrine for when the church was organized. Here, here in Rome, 
we got some issues going on because we got Jewish Christians mm -hmm. who still, they have accepted salvation through Jesus Christ, but they're still trying to live by the law. And the law no man could uphold because if you did one thing wrong, then you was guilty of all of it. Mm -hmm. and, and so Paul is writing this letter, and in this eighth chapter, he's talking about telling the Christian Jews and the Gentile Jews there's no different. Mm -hmm. And I don't care if you a black Christian, a Chinese Christian, mm -hmm. an Asian Christian, if, if you believe in the virgin birth, the life, the death, the burial, and the resurrection is the same God. That's right. That's right. Is it the, there's not going to be no Japanese heaven. <laughs> and, and we all going to be there together. Yeah. Those that walk the walk and talk the talk. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's, it's a two-way exercise in Christianity. Come on. First, first of all, you got to know who Jesus is. That's right. And if you don't know who Jesus is, mm -hmm. then you can't know who God is. Mm -hmm. Because in the word, Jesus said many times that me and the Father are one. Yes. So in order to know one, you got to know both. Mm -hmm. And you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. It takes three to make one. It's the only time when you do arithmetic and you put in one plus one plus one equals one. Because the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are all one. There's no division. There's no disagreement. There's no confusion between them. And and in this eighth chapter, huh, Paul speaks to the fact on the behalf of all humanity, Christ has experienced the results of our sin. Christ didn't sin. He lived in this world for 33 and a half, but he never sinned. That was why he was the only sacrifice worthy to pay the price for our wretched souls. And, and if we trust him, if our lives are in him, we don't need to be afraid. Sin has physical penalties here on earth in this life. But to those of us that believe on Jesus Christ, it has no ultimate penalty for us. And, and this book, the book of Romans, again, it, Romans 1 and 16 say, speak to this, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, yeah. for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Mm -hmm. And this, this lesson, this scripture right here, two times, it's some three key words in this coming out of here. Two times the word separate is used. It's used in verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love, mm -hmm. love of God? And it used in 30. Nine, nothing shall be able to separate mm. us from the love of God. Mm. Nothing can pluck out of Jesus' hand what God has placed there. Well, And every believer lives because of Jesus. And not only do we should we live because of Jesus, we should live for Jesus. That's right. It ain't our life. It ain't your stuff. Yeah. It's all God's stuff. And God is the one that breathed the breath of life into us. As I often say, if it was not for God, I'd just be a bag of bones laying there. 
That's right. That's right. Because I wouldn't be able to breathe. I wouldn't be able to think. I wouldn't be able to comb my own hair. But triumph. Woo. Come on now. Let's get to this. The first word is persuaded. The Greek word is pito, P-E-I-T-H-O. It means to have confidence, to urge, to persuade, to believe absolutely. You got to be, be persuaded that Jesus is who he say he is. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. you got to be persuaded yeah. that he hung on a cross. You, you got to be persuaded that he was born of a virgin without a man. With no seed of a man. It's, it's said in the daily reading today, it said he was born of a woman. It does not mention anything about Joseph, the earthly father, having anything to do with the conception of Christ. All right. And, and when you are persuaded, can't nobody knock you off your square. Ah. You're going to stand on that square when you're persuaded. When, when you're persuaded, you're going to know it don't matter what things look like. It matters what God going to do. When, when you're persuaded, can't nobody knock you off your faith. See, we got a whole lot of fair weather Christians. Long as everything is fine, Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I can't wait to get to church. But when something go wrong, instead of running to the church, they run away from the church. Because trouble, remember, my God said, trouble don't last all day. Come on, come on, come on. It don't last all day. It said weeping in the psalm. It said weeping might endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. And I'm so glad it's morning right now. Because it can be midnight, pitch black, but my God can make joy in the morning at midnight. Come on. You know, you got to be persuaded that God ain't brought you this far to leave you behind now. You, you got to be persuaded that he will never leave you nor forsake you. You, you got to be persuaded that it ain't what it is, it's what it's going to be. Mm. Stop looking at today and look to the future. Mm. Look spiritually, first look where God brought you from. Come on now. Look where he got you right now. Huh. And look, I already see five years from now. Because if you ask God, he'll show you things that you never thought you could see. Mm. And, and I know, because personally, I know where he brought me from. Come on. I know what I've been through. Some of it on my own fault. That's right. That's but, but I know that it wasn't me that got me here today. It wasn't nothing but the grace of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he looked beyond every one of my faults and he saw my needs. Now, the next word, separate. Chorizo, C-H-O-R-I-Z-O, in the Greek. To separate, to put apart, to depart, withdraw, space, vacate. You know who put the most space between us and God? Our own selves. You don't take everything to the Lord in prayer like you're supposed to. You, you tried to hold on to some things. We, we try to hold on to some things and figure it out on our own. Why should I figure out something on my own when I know the man didn't know everything? It was figured out before he created the earth. It was figured out before man was ever created out of the clay. But we want to do the heavy lifting. But God say, that ain't your job. He say, my burdens, my yoke is easy, and my burdens are light. Yes. So that's telling you that you don't need to work as hard because God going to work it out. 
I'm going to say that again. You don't need to work so hard because God not only is going to work it out, but he already got it worked out. You just got to wait for it to come and stop looking for the right thing in the wrong places. We're looking, we're looking. But we ain't talking to God. God didn't say, okay, I brought you this far. You do the rest. He going to take you to the end of the journey. From birth to that last breath. Or until Jesus cracked the sky and those of us are still here. After the dead in Christ rise, going to be caught up with everybody in the clouds. And, and the last word, the king, the theme, triumph. In, in the Greek, that word is triambo. T-H-R-I-A-M-B-E-A-U. To triumph. Cause to triumph. Triumph over. To take control. Ha <laughs> ha. It's Christmas time. Next Saturday, going to be Jesus' birthday. The day that Jesus was born, it started to triumph. Because there was nothing here that could handle the sin situation. Mm. All them cows and goats and pigeons and turtle doves <laughs> that they killed for sacrifice for sin couldn't do the job. That's why they had to keep doing it every day. Mm -hmm. mm. That's why they had to daily take a sacrifice. But, but when Jesus came, hmm. the spot this lamb. No blemish, no faults, yes. no nothing evil of this world. He paid the price that we could have everlasting life. Yes, he, did. He, he paid the price that we could triumph over evil. Yes, he, he paid the yes. price that we could be a little more like Christ. Mm and a little less like ourselves. We're talking about triumph. What about Daniel's, the third chapter, verses 12 to 25? Meshach, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that bad Negro, in the burning furnace. They was persuaded. They told the king. He said, we not going to bow down to your gods. We're not going to eat your food because even if you do something to us, we got enough faith. We are persuaded that my father can bring me through anything. I'm, I'm persuaded that it don't matter what you say. It don't matter what things look. It don't matter how it matters. But God has already given you the trial. It's a fixed fight. So why are we fighting? We don't have to fight. God say, I'll fight your battles. Ain't it the song that say, it's not my battle, it's the Lord's? That's right, that's right. And so, give it to the Lord. Why should I stay up all night worrying about something that I didn't pray about when God stay up all night anyway? <laughs> Yeah, I, I come. I, I what what I'm. I can go to sleep. I can pray, give him my problems, lay him on the altar, go to sleep. He gonna take care. When I wake up, everything gonna be okay. How many times you went to bed and it was total chaos, but when you woke up, it was peace. It wasn't you. It wasn't nothing but Jesus. And when you got triumph. Remember, triumph. It didn't say the triumph is coming. Mm -hmm. The triumph is over. Man. Mm. Man. The victory has been won mm. because, because of Jesus' work on the cross. Because he didn't turn his back on us like we so often turn our back on him. Oh. We don't look beyond other people's faults. We hold on to stuff for years. Yeah. 
People ain't talking to one another. Can't even remember why not. Yeah. Yeah. But as long as you buy into Satan's madness, you can't have the triumph. It's there for the. It's there for you to get, but you can't enjoy it when you're wrestling with this evil world. When you trying to do do it for yourself instead of let God do it for you. Well, that's why we got so many people with high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. That's why we got people with diabetes. That's all. Sickness ain't nothing but from Satan. Come on, come God didn't create no diseases. He was all, then in my Bible, Jesus was always healing. Ah. Come on now. <laughs> in my Bible, Jesus was always doing the right thing. Yes. He was always doing God's work. He wasn't over there gossiping in the corner about what she got on. No. He wasn't talking about why he ain't got no job. Mm. And still, he'd have been putting them, giving them some clothes. And getting them a job. Yes, 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 yes. Because that's why we got the triumph. We, we are, it says right there, we are more than conquerors. That's right, that's right. right in this, I read it. Stop acting like you defeated and act like you got the victory. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. There you go. Walking around, oh, what was me? What was me? Oh, somebody pray for me. <laughs> help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me. But you got to know. See, when you know, when, when you know you already got the victory, your prayer is different. Come on now. When, when you know that you already got the triumph, the word sounds a little different in your spirit. When you know that you got the victory and the triumph, you treat people a little different. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. When you know you, I know I got the victory, and people treat you a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Because there's something about you when you walk in a room that stands out. Whether you can notice it or not, it's that light mm. that God has given you to shine yes, yes. in a world of darkness. Yes, yes, yes. And you got to know that you know. Galatians 4, 4 through 7 says, but when the fullness of time, that means, anytime you read that word, the fullness of time, that means when God was ready for it to happen. And the fullness of time was come. Jesus sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive adoption. And because ye are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Wherefore thou art no more a servant, but son. And if a son, then an heir of God. Through Christ. You ain't an orphan no more. You've been adopted. Yes. By the Heavenly Father. We have. What a God we serve. Yes, 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 yes. He adopted us even when before we tried to come to him. He adopted all of us. Every human ever lived is living and that will ever live. But there's a caveat, and it is my favorite verse, John 3, 16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the caveat. You got to know him for yourself. They right. say whosoever. That's right. Believe. It didn't say heard his name. It didn't say know who he is. It didn't say go to church. It didn't say read your Bible, which we should. It said whosoever believeth in him. And when you believe, you get the victory. When you believe, the weight on your shoulders don't feel so heavy. When you believe, 
you can smile all day. Yes, 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 yes. When you believe, you know that this ain't what we here. This ain't our final place. This ain't the way our life gonna end. But it's gonna end in glory. It's gonna end with the Father and with the Son. And with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and we're going to have a great hallelujah time yeah. every day because Sunday ain't going to never end. Yeah. Every day going to be Sunday. Every day. It won't be no more sickness. Yeah. The weary will cease from suffering and all shall be at peace. When, when, when you realize that the triumph is already here, you can come to church and you can just stretch out and praise God. You can just let your wig fall off. You can do what you, because God been so good to all of us. I'm looking at these, and ain't none of us look like we missing no meals. All right, all ain't right. none of us looking like we slept under the freeway last night. Ain't none of us looking like we had to walk from Matson to get to church. Ain't none of us looking like we don't, these are the only clothes we got. Because we got the triumph. We got the victory. Because Jesus. Woo. Jesus. My God, my God, my God. He was born in that version. He was grew up in a poor man's house. He was a carpenter's son. He was called everything but a child of God. They said ain't nothing good ever came out of Nazareth because Nazareth was like North Inglewood. And you got to know. You got to know. Be persuaded. You got to be persuaded that he was falsely arrested, that he was falsely accused that he was falsely tried, that he was falsely convicted, that he was falsely condemned, that he had to carry his own yeah. cross up a Roman hill called Calvary. Yeah. Calvary, Lord, yeah. Calvary. Surely my Jesus died on Calvary. Yes, yeah. yeah, he did. And they put him on the cross. They nailed him through both hands. They nailed him through both feet. They, whoa. Raise that yeah, cross up. Yeah, they raised it up, and it said Jesus had already prophesied to, to the people. He said, if I be lifted up, yeah. I would draw all men unto me. And they put him in Joseph of uh, Arimathea, a bald grave, a, new, a newly dug grave if you do your studies. And, and they put him in there. They sealed it. Satan thought the war was over. Mm. He thought he had won. Uh, Satan thought he had the triumph. But after three days and three nights, early yeah. Sunday morning, my Jesus got up and he walks with me. He talks with me. He got all power in heaven and on earth in his hand. And if you don't know that, you can't know the victory. If you don't know that, you can't overlook on, things. Come if come you on. don't know that, you let this world beat you up yeah. day after day after day. Yeah. You look at the news and feel depressed. I don't feel depressed. I feel it's still in God's control. Come on now. It don't matter how long the COVID runs. God ain't going to change. I ain't worried about no COVID. I'm careful around who I'm around, but I'm not worried about it. Because if God want me to have it, it doesn't matter what I do. Think about that. You can't prevent nothing from happening. You can have the best doctors and the best medicine in the world, and if God say, it's your time to go, it's your time to go, and you don't even have to be sick. All he got to do is take his breath out of your out of your mouth. And that's it. So you better act like you got the victory while you're breathing. Stop walking around defeated. We as Christian believers 
We got to show some joy to this world. Yeah. It's a joy to the world. The Lord has come. We got to let them know that he's here. <laughs> he's right here. Come on. Right here. But you got to let somebody know about the triumph. You got to let somebody know about the victory. You, you got to let somebody know about somebody that can save anybody. And you got to let them know the way, why we live the way that we live. Or try to live the best that we can according to God's word. Because the cross, without the cross, there ain't no salvation. Jesus couldn't have, he couldn't have got ran over by a buggy or horses. He couldn't have been beat with a stick. He, only one way he could die to take away the sins of this world, and that was on that cross. He had to die on the cross to give us the triumph. Jesus already had the triumph because he still was God. But he had to come for us because we couldn't help ourselves. We still can't help ourselves. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And just keep remembering. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Ain't no name greater in this world than the name of J-E-S. U.S. And again, on behalf of our pastor and the Greater Queens Missionary Baptist Church family, we wish you and yours a merry and blessed Christmas. In Jesus' name, amen. And thank God. Amen.